We'll look at two types of heaps, max heap and min heap. The root node, or the topmost node, of a min heap contains the smallest value. Each child is larger than the parent. Once the heap was built in the previous video, a min heap can be constructed from it. To build a min heap, we'll start from the floor of n over 2 node. The reason for the floor is due to uneven number of nodes. If the number of nodes was 7, the starting point would be at floor of 7 over 2. The floor of 3.5 is equal to 3. If you don't know what floor is, it just basically chops off any kind of decimal point right here. So this could be 3.9999. Once you floor it, it's going to be 3. Same thing if it's 3.00001. If you floor it, it's going to chop it off and it's going to become 3. For our example, there are 6 nodes. So the floor of 6 over 2 is equal to 3. The starting position will be at the third node. We'll check to see if there's a child node that has a smaller value than nine. Since there is, the two nodes are swapped. We're done with the third node and we move to the node before, which is node two. At node two, there are two children. A comparison is made between the two children and the smallest node is selected, which in this case is node four, which also contains the value four. Since 2 is already smaller than 4, the nodes are left in place. We're done with the second node and we move to the node before, node 1. At node 1, there are two children. A comparison is made between the two children and the smallest node is selected. In this case, the node with the value of 2. Next, 7 is compared to 2. Since 2 is smaller than 7, the two nodes are swapped. Now that we've reached the root node, we must iterate through the heap once more to see if we finish generating a min heap. So we'll repeat the procedure again. We begin at the third node. Since 3 is already smaller than 9, we can move to the second node. A comparison is made between the two children. Since 4 is smaller, 7 is compared to 4. Since 4 is smaller than 7, the two nodes are swapped. The comparison node moves from the second node to the first node. A comparison is made between the two children. Since 3 is smaller, 2 is compared to 3. The first node is already smaller, so the nodes remain in their current positions. One final iteration needs to occur to verify that the min heap is created. We start back at the third node. Since the third node doesn't have any children that are smaller than itself, we move to the second node. Similarly, the second node doesn't have any children that are smaller than it. We finally move back to the first node and verify that the first node also doesn't have any children that are smaller than it. The min heap tree has been created.